on this episode of Haroon Eats and Travels. We are continuing our stroll to the end of Istiklal Street. While some may consider this area a tourist trap, in my opinion, it's still one of the coolest and most hip and lively places to visit in Istanbul. And this street is also the home of the St. Anthony of Padua Church in Istanbul. And this Catholic church dating back to the 18th century is a testament of the city's diverse religious heritage. The church is striking neo-Gothic architecture with its towering spires and intricate detailing. It's a sight to be All right. No filming inside the church, of course. No problem, people are worshiping. You gotta respect it, of course. So, now we're gonna make our way back to the street. So I think we are done with this Holy Street. Street. Cause honestly, I think it's like, it's pretty much, we're seeing a rep repetition of the stores. And you know, what is it? Oh, well, that's a beautiful cat actually. That is a very, What tripped me out is how big and how popular the U.S. Polo Association brand is in Turkey. They have multiple locations and they are huge stores, man. Another fun fact, my drug of choice and my kids' drug of choice is readily available in abundance all throughout Istiklal Street. And that is there not a good thing. There is like no like limitation. There is no limit in terms of whatever shirt. If you have a sweet tooth here, there is no limit to what you can get up here, man. They got a ton of candy shops, ice cream shops, pastries. Man, if you want to get your sweet tooth fix on, Bro, Istikal Street is the spot. I'm telling you, I'm carrying all these waters, man, because I need to flush out all the all the sugar that I've been eating and grubbing on. Mini, real Nutella. You like it? Real. I know. You can't, like these kids are just like, they see everything sweet, they want to have it. Can I get some ice cream? Lemonade, the ice cream, and all of that. Look at that, look at that little thing she had, she picked up. That's actually kind of cute. They got pistachio. Chocolate dip cones, man, which is freaking insane. All right, guys, so we are on our way. We need to get passes, but then we're also on a mission to try something different that we haven't tried yet. And it's not readily available in the States. It's called Kokarech. It's essentially like sliced intestines, lamb intestines, man, uh, in the form of a sandwich. You get it in a, you get it in, a uh, in a bread like a sandwich. Oh my goodness, what is this? Man, this is the first time I've seen boba tea here. That's cool. We're about to hit up this place called Ozzy's. It's a, it's a, it's an establishment that has been around for decades. And we're about to get our kokarech on and give it a try. See if we can dig it, if, we, if it's something that we can dig. So we're gonna give it a try. Again, not readily available in the States. You gotta, you gotta try the local, what, you know, what the locals like to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So Ozzy's kokarech. A restaurant in Istanbul specializes in a unique dish called kokarech, which is made from rolled lamb intestines roasted over a spit fire and seasoned with herbs and spices. Despite kokarech being a popular street food, Ozzy's takes it to a gourmet level. Ozzy learned the craft from his late father and gained recognition for his exceptional kokarech. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what do you like to eat? Cook, either, uh, turnip juice. What, what, what is the other juice? The other? Uh, turnip juice. It's like a pickle juice? What is that turnip? A pickle... Oh, turnip. Turnip, turnip. turnip juice. Turnip. You wanna try turnip juice? Yeah, we'll try. Maybe one turnip juice, yeah. We'll do one turnip juice. Oh man, we got the turnip. kokarech right here. This turnip. Oh. And they got the best Turkish sausage sandwich. Oh, wow. Best Turkish sausage sandwich. This is kokarech. Getting all the juices yes. from the sausage on the bread. Yeah. It's oh, spice man. juice. Very oh. delicious. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> that one smells Deep really good oil, actually. Oil, spicy juice. Look oh. at that. Amazing. Is it the same? All the same? Yeah. All the same, huh? Yeah. It's all the same. It's just. It's one yeah, one is cooked longer, one is cooked. It's the new one is all today, right? But it's all slow cooked. We got the spices here. So Ozzy's father had actually started this business decades ago. Believe it or not, Ozzy initially pursued a different career, but later embraced his father's legacy. He perfected the art of hand rolling lamb intestines, and 
This is what sets his place apart from others in Istanbul. Looks similar to a beet juice in terms of color, but not sure if it's the same exact thing. Savannah, go ahead. It's all you. Try it. I'll try it for sure. It's like pickled turnip. Really? Yeah. So got that sour, fermented, pickled um, turnip. Really? It's good. I like pickled stuff. So. Um, is it salty or is it it's like? It's salty. It is oh. salty. Salty, soury, aged. I don't know. It's got a little acidic. Uh, in it mm. from the pickle. Mm. Actually, <laughs> now I need rice with it. What? Your mom said she needs rice with this. What? <laughs> yeah. So is this like something I should drink slowly or <laughs> I drink it fast? I'm like scared the way you described it that you need rice with it and whatnot. Sounds like a meal more than it is a. Uh... I'll do it again. I'll do it. It's good. The initial sip kind of throws me off, but then it has like the soup. It's, it's actually good. The aftertaste is actually really good. Boy, that is good. <laughs> it woke me up, dude. So it's kind of like an Asian pickle bean sprout flavor. You are not making this sound very attractive well, to the viewers. Well, you've never had a pickle bean sprout. I mean, I have it. But it's pickled. It's I just pickled. <laughs> it's not as salty as a. It's not as salty though, which is good. Oh, thank you, Sujuk. Thank you. Check this out, hey, Dean. Look at that. Ooh. Try. Let's try it off. Here, you wanna try? The sandwich is right. The sandwich, right? The sausage sandwich. When he grilled it, he grilled the bread right on top of the sausage, right? So it immersed it. It soaked in all the sausage juice while it was being while it was on the grill. Man knows what he's doing, man. Mashallah, it's good. It looks really, really good. It smells excellent. Big old slices of sausage. Look at that, man. Let me take a smell. Coconut <laughs> edge. Here's fine. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> smells lovely. Gotta give this a try, Aiden. May have to split all of this, huh? Ooh. Actually, before we get into it, these are actually all lamb intestine, man. Ooh, and it's grilled. Perfection slow cooked, uh, the same way that you would slow cook like the donor kebab, but it's all wrapped up, immersed in its. You see the see these little pieces. This is all fatty intestine, and then they season it with uh, different spices, and of course cook it the same way they did the sandwich, uh, the sausage sandwich, right? Look at that. This actually that smells good. There's some cumin in here. I can definitely smell the cumin. That smells good, and I'm a fan of cumin and lamb, so I'm hoping. See, I'm gonna be honest. So I didn't like intestine when they were up, but this smells amazing. So hopefully, it tastes just as amazing. This sumac, brother. Is this sumac? Uh, no, not sumac. Uh, hot pepper. Hot pepper. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, perfect. A little hot. Not too much, huh? Oh, that's more. That's more spicy. <laughs> it's spicy, huh? Oh, hot, 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 hot. You wanna add a little bit more spice or not? Okay, spice sauce. Turn up. Little, little, hot sauce. Oh, okay. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Oh, thank you. <laughs> little, little. In yeah, here, huh? Nice. So the brother brought some spices over, but I'm gonna give this a try without the spices. Ready to dig it? Ah, thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah, I like it. Well, that's actually really good. Mmm. Yeah, no exaggeration. I don't know if you like it, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Took a while. Look at my mouth is full. <laughs> I'm the guy who has no manners. I just eat and chew and talk all at the same time. Is it good? Yeah. So let's got. I'm gonna add some spice. So gave some spice. It's actually pretty spicy, Vanna. To add a little bit Ooh, more. Just a little bit. Oh. oh you dropped the biggest chunk. Oh, if you want more, it's already some spice, but if you want more spice. Ooh. I like it with the extra spice. Do you really? It gives it that, that. It's a lot of kick in it, and the spices. Kick. Oh, yeah. The spice no. is actually really good. I like the spice. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna try it with the. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of extra spice as well. A little texture. You gotta really like the intestine texture. It's very rubbery but crunchy and crispy fatty. at the same time and fatty. Mm. Mm. Excellent. It's so good. Drink it in like Cali, that. I have not in California. I haven't heard of a place that That's sells coconut. Fatty. I like the fattiness of uh, the coconut. It's really good. And the spice does add a kick to it, and I, I like it a lot with the spice. You taste the cumin in the spice? I don't taste the cumin. I taste a lot of cumin. I know cumin, dude. That's a lot of cumin, but the, but the pepper overpowers the cumin. The pepper does overpower the cumin. I yeah, can't. But it, I I, can taste with the cumin. my nose, I can't smell the cumin. But I like the pepper a lot. So good. I have yet to be thoroughly disappointed in Turkey. This is good. Of course, this is a very reputable place. They've been here since 1968 and have established themselves as a man that spice is <laughs> we have a lot of spice so i just stole a piece of my daughter's uh, sausage sandwich the sausage and oh my gosh the flavor is delicious it's so good i think i'm gonna get one for myself you should try on youtube i've seen a lot of mixed reviews about Coconut Edge, but it all depends on where you're gonna get it, where how it gets prepared. I think Aussies is an excellent place to get your Coconut Edge on. Amazing service, sweetest people, man. The Turkish people, man, mashallah. And um, food is amazing. That sausage sandwich was good. Simple, just literally just bread soaked in the juices of the meat. Amazing stuff. This is Vanna's cup of tea for sure. But so this is kind of like a pickled uh, bean sprouts, Asian style pickled bean sprout flavor. So we normally eat that with like a grilled fish and rice. So now I need a grilled fish. And oh some rice. god. Yeah, I don't know about that. It did wake me up. I'm gonna be honest. That one or two sips that I had, I'm like, <laughs> it gets you. It wakes you up. I am with my brother Aussie man and. Uh, did an amazing, uh, my, my first time trying coconut man, and Thank you made you made my days. <laughs> One of the best things I've tried here in Turkey, bro. In Istanbul, man, mashallah. So we'll be back. Check out Aussies, man. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yo, that place was the bomb. Actually, I liked it a lot. So there's been, you know, when, when you get a chance, definitely come by Aussies, man. An establishment here in Istanbul since 1968. Amazing stuff, man. Let's go. So we're finally gonna ride Istanbul's iconic Istiklal Street trolley. And this thing keeps going on like clockwork, man. man. Always making its way through the bustling crowd like a charming relic of the past. <laughs> wow, dude, you're right. Awesome. <laughs> you can stay with it. Huh? Hey, hey, fun times, you wanna come here too? Come on, just hold on to the thing though. Just stay, no, 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 just, Ari okay, Ariana, yeah, if you wanna stand here, come here, you gotta hold on to the thing. Hold on to this. As we move forward, the view from the trolley is a mosaic of sights and sounds. Street vendors selling simit, shops adorned with colorful trinkets, and the shops adorned, adorned with colorful bobs, trinket waving from nearby eateries. Woohoo! <laughs> Bro, this is fun. We're gonna go all the way to the front. For real, for real. Yo, how fun is this? This is cool. Actually, I think Ariana is eating like this type of stuff, right? Hello. Right? Hello. Do you like it? Do you yeah. like this? As the trolley continues its route, passing historic landmarks and the neoclassical architecture of the street, it becomes apparent that the charming mode of transportation is not just a relic, it's a living testament of Istanbul's enduring blend of tradition and modernity. It's a reminder that in this city, where the past meets the present, the trolley of Istiklal Street remains an enchanting symbol of both history and progress. 
And as this ride comes to an end, so does this video. We appreciate you guys joining us on this stroll through Istiklal Street. If you like what you saw, remember to subscribe to your boy's video. Share, like, leave a comment. Peace.